Now, if you refer to space-time chart, any object which is moving slow will have inclination this way, but this inclination below angle 45 is not permitted. This, this is not possible because this represents velocity more than velocity of light. Practically, we are pre we are collecting some pieces from special relativity and general relativity in this discussion, and there the restriction on any material particle is uh, bound by velocity of light. Any material particle cannot travel with speed of light. Only photons, only light waves are traveling with velocity of light. Now this is not permitted motion. Now, for example, we have a spaceship and that starts journey and its speed goes on increasing and it attains speed comparable to speed of light. It is just not possible that it will attain speed of light. And in this spacecraft, Alice and Bob are traveling. During the journey, Bob does something very ungallant and he throws Alice out. When Alice is thrown out, we consider that the space is free and Alice will travel with same speed of the spacecraft the time she was ejected out. So uh, Newton's first law kicks in and Alice will continue with the speed that she left the spacecraft. And Bob is still in the rocket and is traveling and is accelerating in this direction. Now, the light emitted by Alice will travel with an inclination 45 and will take some time to reach and she will realize that Bob is still traveling. Well, Bob will observe that she is traveling with slower and slow, slower speed because the light emitted at an angle of 45 degree will take more and more time to reach to Bob. So here, light will take further longer time to reach to Bob and so on. At the same time, the Bob's perception will be that Alice is moving slower and slower because light coming from Alice will take longer and longer time. This curved uh, path in space time is hyperbola and uh, it is asymptotical to the line V equal to C, which makes an angle of 45 degrees. Practically speaking, Alice when jumped from the spaceship will travel, will not have any difficulty in crossing this line, which we call light line. But the Bob's perception will be totally different. He will observe that Alice is traveling with slower and slower speed. Similar thing happens. For example, we have a black hole. This is the short shield radius of the black hole and the measure mass is concentrated at the center. A meteorite is approaching or a spacecraft you can imagine approaching towards black hole. The moment it reaches the short shield radius, the light will not be escaped and here the observer here the observer will see that it is traveling slow and slow and slow, whereas the practically the object will enter into the black hole, it will experience irresistible force and will doom into the black hole. R S equal to twice G M by C square. Now let us consider that the black hole absorbs a photon. So 
for black one to absorb photon, we imagine that the dissociative radius of the black hole and the wavelength of the photon is of the order of dissociative radius so that it is absorbed. So lambda is of the order of dissociative radius. Now energy of the photon which we write E equal to H nu. So it can be written as H C upon lambda and this amounts to M C square. So if we talk about a photon absorbed, delta M is the mass, effective mass of the photon and we can write delta M equal to H upon so, mass of the black hole by absorbing photon increases by amount H upon Laplace. Now, this causes increase in Schwarzschild radius because it depends on mass. So, Rs is equal to 2g. Thermodynamics, we can find. 
find mass of uh, we can find expression for temperature of black hole and we know second law of thermodynamics states that dE is equal to T dS. Now if one photon is absorbed, the change in entropy is one or a photon absorbed Entropy change is 1 and for a photon DE is H nu HC by lambda. So for a photon, the energy is HC by lambda. So plugging in these two equations, HC upon lambda is equal to T and lambda is of the order of Schwarzschild radius. We know expression for Schwarzschild radius. So Hc upon Rs is the temperature of the black hole. And if we substitute Rs H into C divided by twice G M C going in the numerator C cube, this is equal to temperature. So we come at point where temperature is inversely proportional to mass is something unusual that we not fix. So I have planned to uh, demonstrate the derivation of Bekenstein equation and the temperature of the Hawkins <coughs> radiation, we, we shall assemble the some time to deal with Hawking's radiation. Basically, uh, nothing can escape from black holes. That's a basic thing that black holes has. If anything enters into the Schwarzschild radius, it is just not possible that that object will escape from black holes. But Stephen Hawking has demonstrated a mathematical model that these uh, black holes radiate at times. So sometime we shall assemble on uh, Hawking's radiation.